All right, a group calling themselves Mkonto Wesizwe Liberation War Veterans has accused former President Jacob Zuma of using the MK brand for his personal agenda. They, this comes, in fact, after Zuma announced at the weekend that he will be voting and campaigning for Mkonto Wesizwe Party. The group is unhappy and has a lot to say. Let's find out why and speak to Deputy National Convener for Mkonto Wesizwe Liberation War Veterans, Nongonzo Mulai. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Firstly, let's just clarify for our, our viewers who are watching, probably wondering what are the differences. Who are the Umkondo Wesizwe Liberation War veterans? Thank you, thank you. Uh, good evening. Umkondo Wesizwe Liberation War veterans is an organization that is advocating for veterans' rights or veterans' challenges. Umkondo Wesizwe Liberation War veterans actually was established last year at the formation after the disbandment of MK MVA and MK National Council. And uh, we then eventually formed one unity structure because the two structures had started operating independently. But it might be important for us to actually go back and check who MK is actually. Mm -hmm. Because Umkondo mm -hmm. a Liberation of Veterans is born of MK. And MK was established in 1961 on the 16th of December. Most people might know that history. MK was an armed wing or a military wing of the African National Congress. It actually formed one of the four pillars of the struggle as was waged by the ANC. Mm. And uh, so there were about the four pillars were mass mobilization, armed operations, underground organization, and interna uh, international solidarity work. So Umkondo Wesis played a critical, a critical role uh, in armed operations, although it actually played a significant role to ensure that all four pillars of uh, of the uh, uh, liberation war were actually sufficiently strong to wage and sustain the struggle. So are you, so, oh, pardon yes. me, pardon me for coming in there. Are you then you. still within the ANC or operating on your own? We could never operate on our own. Mkonto was born of the ANC as indicated. It was important for me to emphasize mm that we were one of the four pillars of um, sorry, of the uh, uh, um, sorry, of the liberation struggle as waged by the ANC. All right. Yes, uh, there are two, or there might have been two factions when we went to the East London Conference, but we were both disbanded and had to form one organization. All right. I just so wanted us... Oh, oh, we thank operate within the ambit of the ANC. Okay. Thank you so much. I wanted that clarity because it's very important even for this conversation that we are about to have. So you've expressed concern and unhappiness about this weekend's event around former President Jacob Zuma and his decision to vote for the MK party and to, to campaign for it and not campaign for the ANC. Tell us why. Hey, first of all, let's just look at the history. Umkonto Wesizwe was formed on the 16th of December. Now, President Zuma comes and announces that he's forming, not forming, sorry, he's going to be voting for a different party called Umkonto Wesizwe. And he's doing that on the 16th of December, such a sacred day for us, such an important day in the history of South Africa. But importantly, also to try and separate MK from the ANC and uh, as if MK was operating on its own when we knew MK was a political army. It was just disingenuous uh, for him to do that. Yeah. So besides the timing, it's what it is doing on the legacy and history and heritage of MK. So now anybody, young kids who grow up will actually lose that history, that glorious history that so many people fought and died for. Now, when they grow up, they'll just know it as a day in which this other MK party was formed. And the party which is actually seeking to mislead voters, to mislead South Africans.
How Let's so? Really B -b 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 pardon me, I don't want to lose that point. How are they misleading South Africans? Let's delve into that because that's quite a serious allegation. And also, I see some reports are suggesting that you say they are fake. So are you suggesting they're a front? What's going on there? First of all, they are trying to, they are stealing the name, stealing our name, MK. Of course, they are writing it slightly differently with a small U and all capital, uh, capital letters but they are still calling themselves Umkonde Oasis. We are already being called by people who are saying, oh, we want to join this Umkonde Oasis party because people think MK is something still to be, uh, to be joined. They still feel they can now join MK. Secondly, they've stolen our emblem, uh, which actually is trademarked. So they really are already, um, uh, they're breaking the law. The, so are you taking them to uh, court? We actually might need to do that. We will be calling on uh, our lawyers or calling on people who could assist because, of course, taking people to court requires money. But it's an important history and legacy to defend. And therefore, we should do that. We How will you... discuss with ANC whether we join uh, ANC as, a, a, as what friends of, uh, is it called friends of the court? Mm -hmm. But we should do that. So two questions arise. We're out of time. If I can ask you to be just a bit brief. One, he's expressed a whole lot of concern about the current ANC that he says he doesn't recognize. And some are saying that he didn't even, um, you know, look at the mirror, turn the mirror to himself and, and talk about some of the challenges and, and some of the controversies around his own presidency. I wonder, for you, is the current ANC a home you are comfortable with? is a home. There are a lot of things that might no longer be going well within the ANC, but it's things that we have to fight within the movement, within the ANC. And secondly, the ANC is actually trying to cleanse itself, turning around. It has actually acknowledged that there's a lot, there are a lot of things not going well, and which other party would actually be as honest as in saying, no, we are not doing well here, let's try. So we are comfortable working within the ANC and we would still urge people to vote for the ANC and urge people to actually come and work and correct whatever is wrong within the movement. So Brief yes, it is a, a comfortable look. Okay, briefly then, how do you think the ANC should deal with him? With him? Yes, and his decision to stay within the party but campaign for another party and vote for another party. Most people would actually end up saying he's, he's expelling himself. What we've done is point out all the transgressions on the Constitution, and the ANC has to decide. But it also has been his decision. So that's really all I could say now. All right. Let me thank you so much for your time. And let's see then what happens, as you say, that maybe you might need to take this to court or what. Let's see then what happens in the next installment. That was uh, Deputy National Convener for Umkondo Wessizwe Liberation War Veterans, Nongonzo Mulai.